day or night, rain or shine, a melatologist is going to be out there looking for the evidence. And a melatologist is going to be out there finding the evidence. Uh, as we've just done here. So we got uh, we got a building here that's been smoked into limestone and the mortar's been pinned. We're going to take a look at a few things here. Take a little peekaboo between the buildings here. And we'll take a look at a few things going on here. And I'm going to show you. And then we'll... I'm going to drive around the corner here, eh? And we're going to take a look at some buildings just around the block. We are in Lower Town, St. Paul, Minnesota. It's a part of downtown, but it's an old section of downtown. The Lower Town, which means it's on the lowest terrace that comes off of the river, the canal. It's a canal. It has locks and dams, which means what? It's a canal. Locks and dams are a part of canal systems. Where you, where you have slack water, you can raise the, the water levels in the canals, in the locks. And you can raise um, water up for boat traffic to get up onto higher tiers of the canal system. That's what the river is out here doing. It has locks and dams. It's a canal. It's a canal. And this is these are melted buildings. These are melted, muffed up buildings, eh? Yes, they are. Okay, yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're melted, Bill. And we're gonna take a look at them right now. You don't think they're melted? Give me a look at all this here. Let me show you what's going on. There's a few things. So, oops, that's lovely. Well, that's why I have a big rubber pad on that thing. So, battery pack just flew out of my, flew out. With with um, it flew out with um. I mean, that, that was asinine. That was just pure asinine right there. Okay. Just, you know, calm down. I'm breaking the floor. So, so I think it's trash. They missed, they missed the trash can. I can help a little bit here. I can help a little bit here. I can help some. Well, maybe somebody will want that wood. I don't know. So there's a nice, there's a nice, um, I, I can grab that. That's not good. Okay, grab that. And that too. I don't like that there. I don't like that juice box. And that. And there's a good juice box. Yeah, it has to go. The metal. You know, that's ridiculous. You know? God, it's garbage is right here. And maybe a raccoon was in here. I don't know. There are there are some pretty big rats around here, eh? So I'm not sure if these are apartments. I think they are. So I want to be a little quiet, quieter here. But look at the big, huge. I mean, this is maybe you can't see. This is about two feet high here, and it's a big covered up slab of uh, muffed up masonry here. See this big slab here? It's all muffed up. It's all muffed up. And they filled all around here with concrete on top. Big thick layer of it. This building here, it's it was a red brick building like the one there. It was a red brick building like the one, well this was a red. It was with yellow and black now. This one's yellow. It was red. They were red like that red one there, and like this red one here. This one's painted, and it's creepy. There's no windows in there. There's no windows. It's open. I think. Maybe, maybe there is windows. I don't think there is. They look, they look void and black. There are some windows down here, but I don't think all of them do have windows. It's like an empty building. It's creepy. An old building. But, uh... Okay, let, let me show you a few things. Mortar pinning. It's a new masonry technique. It's made to accentuate a fake block pattern that does not exist. You can see what they've done. They've slapped mortar on here very crudely. Or, or have they? Let's see what they've done here. They've made a mess. Yeah, it's just the slap and, the slap and pin technique here. So what they've done is they come and they, they slap a huge, they slap a bunch of mortar across very, very crudely too, like, like children with Play-Doh. And they come and they come slap mortar all down and then they make these fake block patterns. They, it's called pinning, mortar pinning. And they make these, so when you stand back here, it looks more like a block pattern, kind of, if you, it, it's just, it does. When you come up here, you're like, oh, it's made of blocks, you know. 
as you would think, but they're not. It's all like one solid chunk here. And they've very crudely come and pasted this over, over the limestone. And we know what limestone is, right? I hope we do by now. Okay, they're melted bricks. And they're melted bricks. What are these doing here? Like this mortar is just smoked. Look, look at the pebbles in the aggregate here. It's all smoked and blown out. And you see the new mortar here that they've pasted and, and cleaned up here. New mortar here, see? So they've, and this is like recent. This is like new cleanup work. But look at this little surviving patch there. That's it too, that's it. The rest is our friend the limestone. All the way up too, this one got smoked. Look, look at the windowsills here. Look at that sill. Smoked. They filled that one with some bricks. You can see those fresh mortar all around that. And that's not how they did windowsills in the past with bricks just across. They would have them protruding out like these ones here. But anywho, I like these ones. Oh, these are stone cells. The ones in the ground where they ought not belong. It's all burnt down here in limestone. Heat coming from the bottom up in the buildings. These are concrete replacements. Which one of the court here? And the ones in the ground where they ought not belong. And these were done after the fact. This was done after the fact. You can see fresh mortar here. Um, You know, they paint the buildings to cover the damage. The windows were blocked up before the event, and these were smoked with the building. Look at that big gouge right there. And heat came from the bottom up. The heat came from the bottom up. The drives, the roads got raised up to, out here they got raised up to, um, see the roads out here, see this is an angled, it's angled right here. This slants up here because the roads have been raised to cover up this damage line right here. When you're out there, you're up higher than all this damage out here on the sides of the buildings. They've raised the street levels up to cover. And this is raised right here too, but they've raised them up because you can see it's raised here. These windows are in the ground. But they've raised it up to cover the damage. And look, at those, there's a brick in there. That's where the limestone is supposed to be, eh? And they're not. It, 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 they are limestone, but it, we know what that is. We know what that is. Here's one of the bricks turning into limestone right here, and they're all bricks. Here's one turning into the gray limestone, like the one below it did already. It's that one turned to gray limestone. And let's just take a, a little walk. Little walks you pull down. Oh yeah, right here. Now see this big asphalt? Now see if you can see this. I'm not sure if you can. Maybe you can, yeah. See, see this big, this here? It's asphalt, but I think that there's a big layer of, of, of muck, of, of um, buildup of mortar snot and mortar leach, leach off and bleed off from the building. They saw always pull up the bottoms. And I often find that they shape it like this and we'll just, we'll just cover it up with a uh, um, asphalt like this. Simple way to cover up the, the big pools of mortar and melted building at the bottom of the buildings. Like we've seen at that wall over by the river I showed you. The big pools of mortar. Now in here there's all sorts of craziness going on in here. This is smoked and it came from where? The bottom up the bottom up and this, these have been raised pretty much to cover up the damage. You're going to see on this side specifically this drive has been raised directly over the damage line and just to the damage line and that's where the streets are out here have been raised up to cover the damage on the buildings. That's where they've been raised to for the most part. They've done a pretty good job for the most part. I'll show you. This side this building got hit up a bit higher so they couldn't really raise this much higher. There was a certain um, level that they couldn't go past when they raised these streets up. It was a project. So there was a certain, they agreed on how high 
the streets would be raised and they went ahead and did it. And it was a lot of work, but they did. So I don't know how long it took, who did it, what types of people they were, if they were people or what. But somebody did, and here's the, the evidence for living in it. This was blown out with the evidence, this was blown out with the, this is X Factor here. This was, so they were blocking in. Why were so many windows blocked in and such before I started back? This, this is blown out and damaged. This is blown, out. this is blown out. give me a break. This big mortar snot came right out of the hole right there. Big pool of because it's always bleeding through the buildings. <clears throat> and it would often pool up at the base. And that's also why these streets come, because there's often huge pools of this mortar and building material that leach down at the bottom of the buildings down there too. There's big pools and it's just big chunks of rock pretty much, big solid mass of, of, of masonry. Like a big long tube of stone at the bottom of every, of every building, because it, uh, it leaches down and it pulls up at the bottom. So that's also another reason why the streets would come up. All the, all the material, all the it was a it was a mess, and it was, it was a hard mess, hard material, hard hardened. Look at this limestone here. It came. It's not foundation. This isn't even a foundation at all. Look at this limestone coming way up past the other ones here. This comes way up past. And this and, and these do too. It's not making much sense here. You can see that they're bricks. But they've just been coming together here. And the limestone at the bottom. It's just a mess. And what's this here? This this was not a window here. The windows were right here. So, what's this? It's not patchwork. Why is that in the middle of the limestone here? Right? You don't, you don't see this yet? That these are cut? This has been burnt off? Where's the rest of this brick? It's right here. This is mortar. After, oops. This is mortar. After the fact, you can see here, to cover up, you can see the white mortar here. But um, the rest of this brick is right here. <clears throat> and this is the slick tricks right here so that you don't see those transition points to put stuff mortar like in between here to make it look like they used a half brick. They didn't. The rest of the brick here is right in here. This is a fake mortar line here. This is just some sort of a transition here that, that caused uh, a heat differential. It's that easy. You see that there are bricks expanding. These are the same bricks as up here, filling the window in. See, they use the same bricks over here as over here. These orangey bricks, they use the same ones here. And they filled the whole window in with them. So they didn't use these big melty blocks for half of them. No, these are the same bricks up here that expanded out and were coming together. The same mortar between. Same mortar between is down here. They weren't mixing. They weren't mixing stone and brick like that. Those are damaged. Look at how wavy and melted they are. And this limestone is not any even layer. Look at the, oh, it comes way up here. It's not. It's not foundation. And these come up even higher over here. This, this is not foundation. But the bricks going into the ground disappearing, and then limestone foundations coming away. No, give me a break. Is it foundation or not? No. The bricks are disappearing here, so it's not foundation. What is this crap? It's damage. That's damage. Over here, you see the damage over here. This is old too. These old iron, that, you see these, you've always seen these everywhere all your life, right? These are old world. This is the old iron, they had all these iron, they would, and they used it after the fact, but this is, this came from the old world, all this iron flooring, all this beautiful iron, you know, all these girders and beams that they used in the corners of these buildings and all this, um, extreme, extreme um, reinforce, reinforcements. This is all iron right here. And rivets in here. What's all that about? Three diamonds and two circles. And it's all iron. Uh, actually, no, I was wrong. It's not concrete. I didn't look close enough. It's not. It's not. It's just the original stone. It's muffed up. Now the mortar is, is fused right to it, it seems. 
and it's burnt. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a replacement. Oh, well, it might be. There's a gap. I don't know. No, there's melted water here. You see? Sorry about the flashing. There. You see? That's the same melted water that's in these bricks here. And that goes down into these. So they have, these seem to be the original cells. They always have these machine marks and these, these, I don't know, like putty marks. Maybe if it was soft, I don't know, but they always have these marks. And then you're pretty uniform, they're different for different types of stones. And they're in all, yeah, they're in all this, yeah, original. And they're always burnt because they got smoked with the buildings. It's thick brick material, it's like sparkly brick, see? Just like the bricks. And sometimes they use granite in nicer buildings. Not buildings like this, but what's this? It's not foundation, look. This isn't a window, the window's right here. They have relief arches. So this isn't a window being filled in right here. This is not a window being, I mean, come on. It's not a window being filled in, so what's this? It has to be answered, answer that question. If, if you don't believe in Maltology, you think it's a joke, answer this question. What's that doing there? We had bricks, we had millions of bricks. Look at the building, how big it is. Look at how many bricks they had. And just for this one piece here, it ruined the whole building. The whole building. This ruins the whole building right here. That's ugly. It ruins the whole building. It stands out, okay? It stands out. It break. Yeah, these are damaged, baby. Heat came from the bottom up and turned this shit into soil. It's turning into soil down here. Look at this soil. Potting soil. Fucking potting soil with the, with the, with the fucking fertilizer in it, for fuck's sake. <laughs> with the fertilizer in it. Now what I wanted to show you was, I went back there to show you this and I didn't even do it. <laughs> I'll show you over here. So, soilified, soilified. And you got windows here, and look at these bricks. Just give me a break. Give me a break, look at this. You know, holy smokes, this is... So you, you can build these pretty beautiful masonry brick buildings, these ornate buildings, these pretty ornate antique buildings, okay? And uh, this is new here, this is new crap. See the new mortar in here, and these crappy bricks. This is um a joke, but you're telling me how many of these bricks are damaged. What, the, what, what happened here? I mean, obviously the bricks were perfect. They were shining like glass. You could see a lot of them still are. I mean, not really, but... And they paint over the... They paint because of the damage. They paint because of the damage. The graffiti artists, they're all hired. They're just artists. They're not anything special. They're not really rebels out there doing that. There are some out there. I, I know a few, but they're not, they're not... They're not really. The good ones, they're not really not. They're really not. They're, they're just artists. They're hired. This here is a uh, stone right there. Man, that's an old stone. It has. They always have these. Either the dots. You see the dots here, or those lines, those grooves, those those machine marks like this. There's both right there. Examples and a wood door for giants. Enormous. So. Sorry, I'm losing my headband here. I just had to. What does it mean when you see an owl? It's supposed to mean something. It's supposed to mean something when you see an owl. Granite down here. That's granite. And it's concrete there. And look at the bricks. Look at the bricks. Why just that piece right there? Why would why, why they choose that for that piece right there? Because they say that they chose that material. If you can build perfect, beautiful, shining antique buildings like this, these beautiful masonry buildings, with all the ornate fanciness, okay? Then why the hell are you going to choose this stuff to put it on top of? Okay, why are you going to choose that to put these beautiful bricks here on top of that? Why? It crumbles to dust. Why? See, these are the questions that you have to answer. And when you realize that you, that they're, when you follow what you've been ta taught and told, these, answers, these questions can't be answered properly. These are melted bricks. Nobody chose to build with this material at the foundations 
where it should be the most sturdy and safe and the best material, choice material. They're not going to build these beautiful, these beautiful antique buildings, these masonry ornate buildings on top of this junk. No one did. But the heat came from the bottom up, baby. And on every building, this whole room was smoked. Look at the bricks down here. And this is the work after the fact. They, 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 were, they were showing off, baby. They were still doing this stuff. They were still doing this work. On the, you know, this is after the fact. This is a raised street. It's raised over the windows. And look how good they were doing it still. This has been here for a long time. And this is uh, the after the fact brick masonry here. The folks who survived it and had the knowledge or just you know got the knowledge passed down to them. This has been done using the knowledge here. And these are everywhere, these drives, and they're still, they hold together in one piece because they're so perfect. It's like one solid sheet, like shine like glass. And look at here, you got bricks coming into here. And boom, what the fuck is that? I'll tell you what that is. That's an oops, uh, an uh oh. The, the paint has stripped off the bottom of the building here. And uh, look what's been revealed. You tell me these aren't melted bricks. You tell me these aren't melted bricks. Then you can give me a break. Okay. Those are melted motherfucking bricks. You see the, see, you see the colors here? We know what hot surfaces look like. You see the old world texture on their stone, on their man-made stone. It always has texture and machine marks. It's always very ornate, perfect. Fancy edges, fancy tops. And, angles and such like this that's how they did it everything was ornate everything was fancy and there's red bricks down there being covered up with cement because they're red and they're not supposed to be down there it's supposed to be great on there right and the red bricks the red fucking bricks give me a break they're lying this building got smoked all the limestone at the very tippy top but look at the very tippy top there's still bricks there's still but look down here though limestone bricks Baby, did you see that? Look at that old building there, that jewel. Look at that. These are like Ferrari Cadillac buildings. These are all, this whole world. Look at the buildings. All these flowers. These are like, it's like walking into a world of Cadillacs and Rolls Royce buildings and Ferrari buildings and such, and nobody notices it. These buildings are like the quality, I mean, the quality level here compared to what we build and such are like, are like, you know, Ford and Kia and Chevy, but like, this stuff is like Rolls Royce. Like, it's like a Rolls Royce quality world. And, we, and most don't understand that. There are bricks at the top surviving, because the heat came from the bottom. Those bricks up there are perfect still. But the rest of them are really, have expanded. This is brick expansion, baby. And it's limestone. And those bricks mixed up all in between there. So perfect ones too, perfect ones. Right there. I don't have to zoom, sorry, but you know what it is. You can see, we know what it is. We don't need to fool around. No Tom Fleury here. Look at these Rolls Royce buildings. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at the fancy, look at the fancy bits. You gotta be kidding me. And their paints, these lead paints, they last forever. A forever. They will last in the buildings forever. So. And this way down here, we're gonna go down to this, uh, the bottom of that the terrace here. That's where the, uh, oh, there's tiles over here too. The bottom of the terrace here is actually, there's a few granite staircases. This one is, oh, it's crap. Oh, it's damaged. But there's a, there's a couple of uh, granite ones down at the bottom. And I want you to see those granite staircases. They're pretty anomalous. I mean, they seem to be turn of the century stuff but they seem to be uh, new as well. Like turn of the century. So, I mean like, look at the bricks in here, all yellow and smoked. The limestone heat came from the bottom up. And these bricks here are damaged too. Hard to say if it was laid like this. I can't tell because it doesn't seem as damaged on top here. It's maybe been redone. But it's pretty, it's pretty, look at the bottom though. It's muffed up. 
because the heat came from where? The bottom up. That's why the streets have been raised up to cover up. And look, it's been raised to cover up perfectly this, this side here. Not this side, but this side got smoked higher up. This building may have been using more power. But this one here, the road, the road got raised right to the top of the damage, covering it and um, removing it from existence pretty much. So that's pretty neat. And all these iron bits fastening the, these structures here. That's interesting as well. And that looks old, so I'll take you around to the next spot. Yeah, these are all muffed up. All of them are burnt. See you down at the lower terrace down that way.